So according to legend, one day, one of her students approached her at breakfast and they asked her exactly what signs should they be looking for when a new baby was born to tell if it was okay or not. Virginia grabbed a napkin and she wrote down five things to check. In the early 1960s, medical students turned these five things into an acronym based on Virginia Apgar's name to help them remember. Okay. So we have A for appearance, which is what is the color of the baby? Yeah. Is it pink, a healthy pink color, which means lots of oxygen, breathing properly, yeah. or is it turning blue? Then P is the next letter for pulse or heart rate. Mm. G is for grimace, which means reflexive response. The next A in APGAR is for activity or muscle tone. And then R is for respiration. Is the baby gasping or breathing normally? Yes. yes. So APGAR became not just the score, the reflects not just the name, but it's actually an acronym for actual tests to be conducted. 